Over 10 years ago, I built up the original boost pack. I used that boost pack in my car instead of a traditional lead acid battery for many years. Well, I sold that car years ago and an awful lot has happened since then. I picked up this year 2000 Honda Insight with low miles. I absolutely love this little car. I can easily get 70 miles to a gallon with it and I have some modifications in mind that hopefully will push it up over 100 miles per gallon. But before I could work on this or any of my other projects, I really needed a new workshop. I've not had a usable workshop in years, and it's been nearly impossible to work on projects with all of my tools packed away in storage. Over this last winter, we finally got the workshop designed and built. It sits just a few steps from my front door, and it's going to make working on these projects a whole lot easier. The other morning I went out to start the car and the original battery that came with the Honda Insight was dead as a doornail. I decided that it was time to throw out this old heavy lead acid battery and replace it with a super capacitor boost pack. The boost pack will weigh a lot less and last the life of the car. I've installed some of these larger new 3D printers in the workshop and I've got to tell you the advances in print speed and quality really impressed me. I'll post links to the 3D STL files over at lasersaber.org as well as in this video description. This older Honda Insight is really perfect for a boost pack like this because it doesn't have a lot of things that draw current when the car is not in use. If you're new to this idea of using supercapacitors to replace a lead acid battery, you should check out some of my older YouTube videos. I did a lot of experiments and tests and you'll probably find all of that interesting. Okay, so I've connected these all together. They're connected in series. So we have our positive to negative and that connects to the positive and the next one. They're all just wired up in series. After sitting on the shelf uncharged for years, these old supercapacitors still had a ton of energy left in them. I want to give an unpaid, unsolicited shout out to Groove Life. They make great, comfortable, nice looking silicone wedding bands and uh, that's what I use for obvious reasons. I decided to go ahead and thread on some posts so that I could attach the traditional car battery connection points uh, to this build. That is nice and solid, plus it holds the cap down, so much, much better. I decided to check the weight difference between this old battery compared to the new boost pack. You can see here it's 27 pounds. The new supercapacitor based system weighs in at under 10 pounds. So not only should the system last the lifetime of the car, but it'll also have significant weight savings uh, using this over the old lead battery. This new design sure looks better than the old original one I made out of scrap plywood and wire. It also fits perfectly in the battery compartment. Overall, I'm very happy with how this build turned out. morning after it's cold and frosty uh, just gonna do a quick check see if the uh, see if the car starts up let's check this out just fine not a problem all right so I'll put this boost pack into testing and it'll be interesting uh, to see how it works over the years. Um, great to have a car with a, a boost pack in it again.